Welcome to all the Nitsop uh, club members and uh, Nitsop Jager enthusiasts. Well, as you can see, I've got most of the back done now. Um, I've got uh, I've done all the boot and the and the pump inside the fuel pump, and obviously the the suit opens here. But I just wanted to show you something a little idea. If this cable inside on this lock ever breaks, there's a little hole. There's a little hole in the back of where the number plate goes, just here. <clears throat> and if it ever breaks, all you need to do is basically put your spanner in there, if I can see it, and push it across. So what I intend to do is when I put my number plate on, this is a, a Austrian system because the number plate slides in and out and then these are pushed in and out to allow you to keep changing the plate. So um, what I'm going to do is actually, actually going to put a hole in here so it comes in line with this. I'll put a grommet in it so no water gets in and there's grommets for here. And that way if that cable ever breaks I can get into it. So yeah, this is, and these two little holes down here, there's actually a plate that goes on a little aluminium plate, which is actually has the body number on it, and that's where it's secured, but unfortunately mine's in fairly poor condition. So, uh, and I noticed somebody in the club magazine was talking about it this month, so I need to find a place where I can get one made up and put it back where it was. And uh, the boot's not perfect yet, but it'll take a while for the rubbers to sit in properly. But we're definitely getting there, so um, this will be my last video for a couple of weeks as I'm off to the UK now um, to get some more spare parts and come to the club weekend. So but as you can see we're, we're getting on. We've got the uh, brake fluid reservoirs and clutch reservoir in, radiator. Uh, it's, it's all coming, I've just got the uh, vacuum tank to put in. All the, all the uh, planets and the air filter works perfectly. I've checked it all, tried it. The reason it's not on four wheels, I was hoping to have it on four wheels before I left for the, for the club meeting, but unfortunately um, I'm, few, I'm short a few suspension parts and uh, one lower fulcrum um, that's broken. Unfortunately the bolt sheared in it, so... But that's where we're at at the moment. As you can see the some of the cabling's in, but I've got a couple of guys coming at the end of August to actually wire it up for me. Wiring is not my uh, it's not my thing at all. Um, and there you can see there's the there's the uh, reaction plate, the adjustable reaction plate. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, this um, this top wishbone, the there's a the bolt shit off. I don't know if you can see it. There tried to drill it out so unfortunately the only way I can do it is, is get another one and they're 250 quid but needs must anyway yeah so uh, that's where we're at um, just putting the last few things together um, you probably recognize quite a few of these parts that's the the clip for the the bonnet accelerator paddle gear selector these are the bushings for the uh, I have to have bushings put in them for the uh, lower uh, A arms, and then these are the the dash. Oh God, yeah, which will be covered in material anyway, so it's not a real big deal. But yeah, yeah, we're definitely getting there. This is the uh, the universal joint drive shaft, which is this piece here goes into the end there but then this has got to go in first this uh, throttle this throttle linkage has got to go in inside it first in there so I'll put all that together first and then uh, then I can offer the whole thing up but we're definitely getting there anyway I hope you've enjoyed what I've done so far and uh, you know if you if you like them subscribe and um, and if you're not an e-type club join it if you if you like e-types and you're interested in them 
the best magazine there is around for it. I mean, it's just dedicated to E-types uh, of every, you know, series one, two, and three, and two plus two is the lot. And it's the only magazine that's got so much information in. You know, you you just couldn't beat it. Anyway, um, catch you in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks for looking in and and bye for now. See you at the club meeting if you if you see this before. Bye.